Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to I just got a whole bunch of achievements for some reason. Welcome, welcome back to Loop Hero, the game where I get the achievements. Let's go on an expedition. Let's mess some stuff up. I'm actually really happy with our, our cards here. We're just gonna we're just gonna do that thing again, but slightly more successfully. Honestly, we could very well have defeated the Lich on that last run. It was like a single attack away. Let's maybe try to make sure we have some evasion when we come up to the end of things, and aside from that. I don't know that we're changing the plan very much at all. Let's, I wish you could double click on items to equip them. That's a really minor, it's, that's an extremely minor complaint. It's maybe the minorest complaint anyone has ever had. But like, that would be nice to be allowed to do that. I'm gonna put it over here. We're gonna build the mountain this way. Uh, I should probably have a shield. Get equipped with any item at all. Also rocks. Get equipped with some rocks you found. Hey, that's fun, that's good for you. Uh, spawn a chest at the start of each loop. Perhaps right here. Maybe right there? Yeah, that'll be fine. I love to spawn chests at the start of each loop. That's a nice thing to find really early. Yo, more battlefields, though. Put it down here. Okay, yeah, that that transformed this into a blood path. Okay, cool. Now we know how that works. Let's also have there be spiders sometimes. I love to fight guys. I should have put that spider thing closer to us so that the first fight against spiders would not be all of the spiders in the universe simultaneously. Uh, regen better than damage versus all, maybe, right now, in the early, the early part of the run. I do think it's interesting that your needs sort of shift over the course of, uh, over the course of the thing here. Is this shield an improvement? That's the same shield. Uh, spiders... There, fight a spider sometime soon. No, that's that's too close. I've done a bad job. I've done a bad job twice in two different ways. It's two different bad jobs when you really think about it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put that down. That's that's better than an empty attack slot. Look at that. We're almost one-shotting things. Uh, I mean, we may as well just put this meadow down here, I guess. Show me something cool. I am not even going to equip this. I don't want 4 HP badly enough to prevent myself from um, getting the equipment, the, or the, getting the gear that we'll get when that breaks. This I'll equip. Uh, you know what? I'm not equipping that for the same reason. Show me some better chests. I probably should have waited until we were done getting chests before throwing anything up, because yeah, like what if it gives us another shield I like better? It didn't, but what if it had? Then we, we would have wasted what I'm assuming is probably like a single metal scrap. It's probably, probably not a thing that's actually worth worrying about. Um, so we do want to put these down somewhere so that we can so that we can eventually meadow off of them, right? Let's do it like over here. We can we can keep this area clear of other daily stuff, uh, but we'll put down spider cocoons. You gotta fight spiders if you want to get stronger. Everybody knows that. I wonder what happens if you build like a big a big block of chrono crystals. If we just do a three by three, can we create a giant time mountain? Just walk past and admire the crystals. There's probably something more clever that we can be doing with these. Although honestly, ooh, hell yeah, treasury. Uh, yeah, this should be an okay spot for it, right? We'll build meadows off of the mountains, and yeah, that should be fine. I'm sure, I'm sure some of the really cool stuff you can do with Chrono Crystals is reliant on cards that we have not yet unlocked. So we'll, we'll experience some new, some new gameplay just as soon as I, like, do a good job at this level and actually bring home a reasonable amount of gear. Okay, we don't yet have a grove, so can't really take advantage of that. Yeah, I guess that is one of the downside of having a card in your in your your quote unquote deck that is reliant on you drawing one other specific card. So does the blood clot does it drop good loot? OK, 
okay, yeah, it seems to it seems to have some pretty cool stuff available for us. Wow, that seems like a very good ring, actually. So you probably want to create a blood clot situation. I do, I do love a good situation. So we lose some vampirism, we get some counter. Honestly, I don't know if I think this is an improvement. Again, part of it has part of it's gonna come down to the fact that I have no idea what defense does from a mathematical like it could be it could be that a point of defense is extremely significant and it also could be that it's basically garbage you know is it a percentage damage modifier is it flat damage reduction those two things have like a lot of differing value We should definitely start setting up those meadows, though. We should be getting getting the good math here. Uh, road lantern. Ah, oh, we cannot put it close enough to the treasury. I mean, just like around this area, right? I guess we don't really have any enemies spawning there. I should probably actually hold off on the road lantern. We're about to get a goblin camp. We're not we're not too many cards off of the goblin camp, and I probably want to build that near the goblin camp for obvious reasons. go ahead and max out this thing and then we don't really have a strong location for a second treasury if I put it down here then some of the stuff we build near the road can start filling it in I don't think that's bad we'll just we'll put down a spider cocoon right there for it and then we can end up building the road lantern over there potentially all right here we go I do think I'm gonna just go ahead and do this okay I can't put a road lantern there, though. That's fine. We'll drop it... We'll drop one here and then another one up there somewhere. It's probably right here, just to make sure. I do like seeing a couple of treasuries nice and early. We can, we can get them toward completion and then actually worry about finishing them uh, later on, once the loop level is a little bit better. Definitely put this meadow down now. Uh, and then... Do like a rock there, and we'll just keep increasing HP. Yeah, that seems fine. So how are we faring against these denser fights? It actually it looks like we're doing alright. We have enough evasion and stuff. Yeah, and every enemy we kill is a chance for more is more chance to draw some oblivions, right? And obviously, obviously, I'd love to pull a whole lot of oblivion. That would be wonderful. Let's meadow this up. In the big, in the big thing, oh rocks over here. Do we want to throw a road lantern down? I sort of want to hold on to these. The, the Road Lanterns, I, I feel like, are good reactive cards to sort of limit the danger that an area poses. Awesome. Very happy about that. Uh, I mean, do we want to just keep... So I should fill this area in. We should go ahead and put as many rocks and mountains adjacent to this as possible. If it is in fact the case that you can only have one mountain peak per map, like it like it seems to be, I totally get that decision. I think that makes a lot of sense. Because um, otherwise, you would just you would just build these big like twelve by twelve areas of rock, and it would turn into a ton of peaks completely trivially. And Let's see, what we get out of here. We probably want to upgrade our weapon. Okay. Uh, a mace for... Yep, yeah, that's a big increase. And then do we want to mess with the armor? This is... It doesn't have the, all the evasion. I actually really like that big chunk of evasion on our armor. This ring keeps the vampirism. It's even a little bit more vampirism. We lose some... We lose some magic damage and some defense. I don't know. I think this might not even be an upgrade. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna hold off. I like our, our level 2 ring. We got a real good one early on. Let's 
So this is what it looks like with the road lanterns. This area is just, it's very monster dense. Alright, we have one more, one more good meadow spot over here, and then, like... Come on, fingers crossed for more Oblivion. You can never have enough Oblivion. You would sort of think that the game would want to... You'd want the Oblivion card to be bad. Because... Thematically, the game is all about resisting the slide into Oblivion, right? But... Mechanically, they've really put me in a place where I'm excited every time I draw one of those. This seems okay. We lose a bunch of evasion. That's a lot. Of, how much How much evasion do we have in total? That's all of our evasion right there. You know what? I might hold off. I might, even though that's pretty good armor. I think there's a lot of value in having a chunk of evasion. Let's get you over here. And then we probably want to just go ahead and road lantern like this, then. And also, chrono crystals. Yeah, it's just, this is the chrono area. Yeah, I probably want to put down a cemetery somewhere. Skeletons have good loot. A uh, cemetery, like, up here. I wonder if the Oblivion tends to drop from particular enemies, or if it's if, it, if it's it can come from anything. Okay, we got our first actual grove. That's nice. So the grove and the blood grove near it. We kind of want them to be in heavily trafficked areas, actually, because the blood grove is really helpful. Maybe we maybe we do it up here, like right there. How about right there? With a blood grove here. That seems good. Do we want to additional cemetery? I like the way I like the way it looks when the cemetery tiles are adjacent to each other. That's, that's an entirely aesthetic placement decision. Okay, another treasury. That's exciting. Let's get that established immediately. So I mean, we might potentially build, like, road lanterns and stuff over here. I think we'll, we'll do this. And then I'm gonna put down a meadow here, and we'll just- we'll put, like, a rock or something there to bloom these two meadow spaces. The mountain goes by all the other rock stuff, though. Wow, we're pulling lots and lots of meadows. I guess these can start going around this. There's no reason not to do that. Here, let's put this in a place where we only need one more tile to finish it. I guess I should I guess I should try to close up these treasuries before I start working on the, the new one though. Yeah, let's let's do that. So we're more than halfway through the boss meter. I do have to try to keep more of a conscious eye on that thing. And our build is not like it's not nearly as strong as it was last time at the moment. A mere 13% vampirism. How is a man supposed to survive on that? Yeah, we're really... We're like, we're not bleeding quickly. Oh, you can't go below that. Alright, well, that's fine. We probably want to be placing these near the... Uh, near these things anyway. So we should probably put a rock down there, and that'll bloom meadows in those two locations. Like, I'm not sure if I want to do this here or something else. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. Just bloom us up a whole lot of meadows. We have a ton of day-based health regen right now. Uh, so put this here to bloom those. The next rock goes down here. I hope I'm making smart use of these chrono crystals. I hope these are actually working the way I think they are. But come to my rescue, mighty, uh, mighty blood roots. Okay, hold on. We got some fives here. So lose most of your vampirism for an additional 12 evasion, and then on top of that we have 11 more defense than our current. Honestly, I think that's fine. And then this is also heavily defense-based. It does not... is that... we don't have... Uh, no, it's not all of our damage to all, but it's most of our damage to all on that weapon. 
I think we'll go ahead and do this. So, like, if we stop placing cards, I can let the equipment level rise. Like, I was I was placing very aggressively during our last loop. Maybe we want to let the, the loop level rise up a little bit more before we go summoning a boss. That said, there are lots of places where it makes sense to put this road lantern. And the road lantern definitely has some survivability effects. Like, I think a road lantern here is fine. <laughs> it's good for the treasury. So, armor six. Since our armor is no longer 100% of our evasion, I'm more willing to replace it. But honestly, I still don't know if I like... Yeah, I still don't know if I like that armor better than what we're currently wearing. The fact that it's probably right sometimes to just let the thing run and stop touching it is something that's going to be tough for me. I am not good at that. But let's continue to place, uh, let's continue to place meadows at least around the, around the, um, the treasury. So what you probably want to do is get, like, one card short of calling the boss, and then bank a bunch of stuff, and, and then play a ton of cards all at once afterward. Uh, yeah, I don't think any of that stuff's getting played. I mean, we're putting together a lot of resources. In theory, if you're just trying to bank resources for a run, and that's not what we're doing here. If we can kill the boss, I do want to. Um, but if you were trying to do that, I think it makes a lot of sense to just get to, like, get to a position that's kind of like where we're at now, and then just really sit back and let the, let the loops run. I'm gonna go ahead and put out a skeleton. We'll put out a skeleton here where the road lanterns are affecting the tile and not adjacent to Goblin Town. And yeah, the question is, how how close are we to just sit and let it run territory? And there's no reason not to place more meadow at the moment. Although a meadow here obviously is pretty bad. And we can place this. Now both of those treasuries are a single tile off of being completed and we may as well put up like a single rock here just somewhere where it's gonna let meadows bloom around the treasury I think that's fine so I want to keep gaining HP but okay we a couple of groves. I don't know if we want to place groves at the moment. I mean, like, obviously the wood is nice. If I put down groves near the chrono crystals, though, it's going to generate, like, crazy amounts of rat wolves. Yeah, I think maybe we don't place those. So let me, let me watch this. Okay, that's, we have quite a few um, cards left before it's, before it's boss time. I wonder if your hand completely fills up, what happens? Ooh, I was gonna say let's not place anything for a little while, but battlefield is. I'll play. I'll go ahead and put down a battlefield. Um, wanted to make sure it's right at the beginning of the loop. This this probably makes the most sense for that. But yeah, I think we're just trying to bank up, like, either meadows or rocks or mountains to finish out our treasuries at this point. I suppose as long as we're not actually dying, in terms of fighting the Lich, the best thing would be a bunch of rocks, or a bunch of mountains. So let's see what happens when our hand completely fills up. It might burn random cards. No, the cards just shrink down and get closer together. I wonder if there is a hand size limit. There might not be. I'm, I, I'm sure there must be. There must be some number. It, probably what it is is it just stops giving you new cards. Rather than discarding things from your hand. But, like, I definitely don't want to be made to discard any Oblivion. Uh, do we want to increase 20% attack speed bonus in the area where we would fight the boss. Do we think that would make the boss more or less difficult? Because, like, obviously my damage matters a lot, but the boss hits really hard. I'm gonna, perhaps foolishly, I'm gonna...
put one... Why can I not do it? You can't do it directly adjacent to the road. Hmm. I don't know if I think that's actually a good idea. Maybe we'll just use these to finish out the treasuries. <laughs> yeah, that's not horrible. Alright, I'm just gonna let it run for a minute here. We're doing just fine. I assume on... Okay. Okay, cards do burn... And that burned, that burned two cards. I was not prepared for it to kill an Oblivion. So yeah, we should play. We should play some things. Uh, let's, I guess just, yeah, put together, put together some HP stuff over here because they do not want to give us meadows anymore. And I get it. I wouldn't give me meadows at this point either. Um, spider cocoons. Can we put down a spider cocoon in a place where it's actually helpful? No, not really. I'm in a grove right there, near the road lantern. That seems fine. And I guess, actually, yeah, just like groves near the road lanterns should be okay. We're going to pick up materials from these right away. Ah, that does create... Well, whatever. We have, we have lanterns all around that. That's fine. Okay, this will give us a little bit more room to, to get stuff. Although, actually, we should probably put down the cemetery, too. There's gotta be... Yeah, there's plenty of places where cemeteries are safe. And then, like... Mountain... And is it time? Let's let the... Let's... We can get on this next loop, and then we can maybe complete a couple of, uh... A couple of treasuries. Probably place something. Um, if I put down Chrono Crystal right here, it will affect the Spider Cocoon, but the Spider Cocoon is probably already hitting its unit cap, and it'll also affect a lot of meadows. I think that's probably reasonable. Then a lot of these tiles are just for completing. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put this down over here. We have enough tiles to complete all of our treasuries. You know, cards, tiles, whatever. It's all, they're all, they're all of those things. Okay, another five yellow shield. Nah. No, 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 no. Okay, loop level up. I hit pause. We definitely want to drop some of these cards because we're going to get a bunch of stuff here in quick succession. Although, actually, do cards come out of chests, or is it just items? Okay, it is sometimes cards. Uh, let's... Yeah, like I said, I think we can go ahead and place these. So it's okay for this to be a meadow. The meadow will bloom immediately. Ah, oh, we're pulling so many cards. Okay, hold on. Let me... Let me blood grove... Here... And then we can put up, like, a normal grove, I don't know, over here somewhere. That'll be fine. Meadows. I have another chrono crystal, right? Yeah, so... I think it should be fine to do this here, and then we can put down some meadows around that. Yep, and we summon the boss, but we're, we get the whole loop. Oh, interesting! So the when the incursion happens, it doesn't put down... Lich palaces on tiles that already have a thing on them. Even the blood path, like the blood path tiles prevented, that's actually super powerful. Oh, I think this lich is in like a lot of trouble, maybe. <laughs> actually, looking at the math here, it seemed very bad for him. Uh, meadow me, meadow me up a thing. Okay, and then uh, do we want to put down a cemetery? We can get some decent loot out of a cemetery. I definitely want to make sure that we are maximizing our meadow income and then I guess like just mountaining over here seems seems fine uh, I guess we probably don't play any cards that add enemies to the board at this point let's pull these chests and then we'll we'll do a, a quick once over of our equipment okay so, just a ton of defense. I do like the evasion 
But attack speed obviously is also good. This is a lot of HP. I think we probably should take the HP buff. It'll make the evasion we have left way more effective. It, it, the evasion we have remaining will be effectively a larger amount of ten, uh, effective HP. Uh, this, this would cost us the rest of our evasion. It is a very good shield, but I don't want to go to zero evasion. This is... This seems real good. Yeah, I think that's a very solid ring upgrade. Counter over defense. Again, it's so hard to know. I'm gonna take it. This would give us evasion on our ring, actually. It keeps the... It keeps... So we lose some counter. But it keeps the vampirism. Actually, I like that. We're at 19% evasion here, so we could drop the shield, I suppose. I don't know if I think these shields are actually better. Yeah, I think we're... I think I'm gonna hold off there. And that was a pretty significant upgrade. And then we'll just... We'll watch for new stuff coming in that seems like it might be relevant. Obviously, day-based healing is not so effective during an actual fight. Time does continue to tick, but it's not its not fast. Ooh. So, regen per second up, but you lose some... I think that's probably good. Yeah, regen per second definitely still works in fights, so that, that matters. Um, I don't think I want to lose the vampirism here. Yeah, okay. So things are going to get a little, a little tough. Ooh, level 8 shields. So 34 defense versus 17 defense plus 12% evasion. I wish, I wish I knew. I wish it was clearer what the value of that is. Yeah, it's about to be very difficult coming through here, and there's not really a ton we can do about it. I don't want to burn an Oblivion at this point, but I guess if our health gets low enough, maybe it'll be worth it. Look at these spiders dropping level 4 shields. What a bunch of assholes. Alright, fighting single enemies will give us a little bit of time to, uh, a little bit of time to per second regen. Trade out the attack speed for counter percentage. Counter percentage is definitely better against these fights, but the attack speed will be better against the Lich. The Lich hits very few times, so counter is not exciting against him. Can I create a situation where we fight the Lich with a Bloodgrove up? Is that available? Okay, but I thought I had paused the game. Okay, whatever. That's fine. We're getting through these fights just fine. I think we're going for it. We're not. We're not gonna. We're not even gonna test to see if you get to bail early. We're gonna try to just actually fight this. So, uh, I guess we should road lantern over here somewhere. We can't put one up in a position that will matter more than this. And then like mountains and rocks forever. I would prefer that to be a meadow if we can find one. So if I... No, all the spaces adjacent to the road are taken off. If I oblivion to this and this, and then we found a grove tile to put down, we could blood grove here. And that would let us drop the lich at 15%, hopefully. I don't actually know if it works that way. I don't know if the, wi the lich is vulnerable to that kind of noise. But I think we're gonna, we're gonna get through the heavy... The heavy goblin area just fine here. Unfortunately, the hero is smart enough to target the goblin leader first, so we don't have to deal with the enrage. Alright, quite a lot of healing from the day starting. What if even more rocks showed up? Hooray! Oh, I guess I did spawn goblins. Um... 
yeah, I don't really have a way of dealing with that. I was not counting. Whatever, it's fine. It's it's real close to us. It won't have time to put up a lot of dudes. Ready for individual slimes. Damn it. It dropped it dropped so many cards. Do we get something cool when we burn an oblivion, maybe? I wonder if metamorphosis comes from burning oblivion. That would make some kind of thematic sense, right? Uh, definitely meta me here. Yeah, you just gain you gain cards real quickly sometimes. It's fine. We probably we probably don't need the oblivion. I think there's a decent chance that it will, and it will turn out that we don't need it. Uh, let's put down a beacon right here just to bloom that. I think the the battlefields can't really matter, right? The rocks and stuff still do. We definitely still want to be generating max HP here. I might want to blood grove this. That that seems sensible. And now that we don't have even a single oblivion in hand, our plan for putting a blood grove effect on the lich fight seems very unlikely to come to fruition. Show me some cool loot. Show me that good skeleton. Alright, level 7 blue shield. What do we got? Okay, 1% evasion lost, but a whole bunch of extra defense. I think that's probably going to be worth it. Again, it would be really cool if defense had some text on it. Uh, is it a good idea to chrono crystal here? Yeah, it'll make that it'll make that meadow more effective. <laughs> we got six HP instead of three. Wouldn't that be fun? I guess I should have put it there. I'm, I'm, I'm getting bonuses from the mountain itself and these two rocks instead of the mountain itself and those two mountains. Alright, murder can murder small slimes. So I want to be giving... Yeah, let's... Let's hope we can draw a mountain to drop there. That would be nice. Uh, we may as well grove this, because it's there's no way it's going to spawn anything. We'll at least get a wood. I don't know. Do I think... Do, I'm unsure if I think we're going to have the lich on this one. I think it's... The, the evasion's going to help for sure, but I just don't feel as overall powerful. Just put that somewhere. Okay, so lose 7 evasion, gain 1 vampirism, and 8 counter. I, I don't think counter is valuable against the Lich, really. You take too few total hits in the fight. like that daytime passing. Ooh. Yeah, these are these are counter rings. So it looks like the the image tells you what the stats will be. It's like the rings that look identical have the same spread of stats. Well, not exactly. They tell you that it's like, a, this is a counter ring, maybe? But yeah, again, I'm just not, not looking to add counter as we approach the boss here. I am looking to add rocks, though. I'll take that. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and drop this here. I don't think we're going to see another mountain. And it's not, you know what? This is, I guess, just as effective. Well, not quite. These guys could drop a mountain. They're from the mountains. Oblivion off the top. I 
did pull the mountain. Let's go ahead and do that. And then I will Oblivion one of the palaces. And then I'll put down... We could put down a beacon, right? Do I want to beacon myself into this fight? I really don't. I really don't know if it's right. I don't know if our DPS is better than the bosses. I'm gonna not. Um, but I am gonna put down the battlefield, even though it can't have any effect. Because putting a battlefield down... Oh, I thought putting a battlefield down got you a point. Or got you a reward. Okay, well, he only has one Lich Palace this time. I don't think we're as powerful, but he's way weaker. How is it possible? Okay, shut up. We got a score to settle. I'm not here to chat. Uh, it is possible if we if we evade a couple of attacks, maybe day, the day could flip over during the fight. Coming into this at not full health definitely hurts. Come on. All right, we got we got some healing. Yeah, we're definitely not doing as well as I had hoped. But look at the beautiful evasions. Look at it. It's happening. It could. It, we could have it. Come on, lucky evade rolls. We have 18%. Oh, I think we are going to get him. Please evade. Oh, damn it. I am 100% sure that if we evaded one more time there, that would have been a kill. Uh, I should have just bailed. When I saw that we were not as powerful, I should have just bailed. Well, we can pull a refuge. No, we cannot. We can pull the gymnasium, though. A place where you'll learn how to read, write, and be polite to your teacher. Physical training takes priority. I do like special traits. Let's open this up. Hmm, so that's how it works. Instead of remembering something, you can just learn it again. That's a nice trick. Very effective for people like me who can't remember things at all in the real world. Well, there's no ill intent. Without education, our world would be left to the savages. You too could learn a few things, though. We could all get together and share our useful knowledge and skills. Nah, I already know everything I need to. Leave learning to the kids. Okay, so I was about to say something about how that Savage's line is coming from a pretty grim place, but I think the characterization is just making it clear here. This character sucks. He's the villain of this story. Your first lesson, learn to like learning. That would make life easier for both of us. So does connecting to these actually do anything? Its habitants will gladly move to better housing if you build it. No, so probably probably it doesn't matter at all where we put these things down. You can upgrade the buildings. Like, if we upgrade this, it'll add an item slot to the camp, and it, yeah, okay, it does increase the effectiveness of the, of the thing. What does upgrading this do? Gives us more item slots. What are these? Available supply slots for furniture and tools and... Max equipped items. Huh. Okay, so this one is... It's, these are not individual mouse overs. Okay, well, I mean, we're doing what we can here. Uh, I guess let's just get back out there and give that one more go. We were so close. We did pick up a new card. Village. Heals 15 plus 5 times loop HP and gives you a quest. Sure, throw it in, my, throw it in the pool. Do we want to cut the Blood Grove, maybe? It does seem quite good, but also... Also, it needs a grove to be functional. You know what I think I'm going to take out? I'm going to take out the Beacon. And we're going to try to set up a Blood Grove near the, uh, near the camp. I want to see if it works on the boss fight. I really did think we were going to be able to pull that off that time. Hooray! No, just get in there. Uh, I guess we may as well put down the spider thing. Here, we'll put it over here. I will. I will get to spider fight. We just want to fight like a, a, a spider or two, just a gentle spider fight. So we still don't really have any, um, anything that is good to be near the Chrono Crystals except for the meadows, right? I mean, it's something, though. 
Again, provided that I'm correctly understanding how it works. It's something. Uh, we'll start the big we'll start the big mountain over here, I guess. Hooray, loot. I do want to unlock this other equipment stuff. I'm sure that it's just buildings that are further down the line. Definitely, right. only make sure that we are equipping, uh, equipping weapons. Ah, uh, it's not going to trigger though. So, okay, we want to make sure that we're putting stuff down around the camp. That's very important, apparently. I would love to get, um, it's not bad level one shield. I would love to get a blood grove, like, here or here. Here would be really good. <laughs> okay, that's handy. Let's go ahead and do this, I guess. And then do we want to put this meadow down now? Yeah, sure. It's it's not like we're having a hard time completing our treasuries. Which is like the only reason that I would save that. Okay. You know, if we'd been able to oblivion the boss's final um boss's final tower thing, boss's final palace, we may well have killed him last time. It's possible. I don't know exactly how much he overkilled us by. Uh, spider cocoon. I would really like one of those villages. I'm very curious about the quest functionality. It would be cool if we could if we could draw a thing. I guess I should be placing unbloomed like an unbloomed meadow over here. An unbloomed meadow in range of a chrono crystal is still better healing than a bloomed meadow. That's a pretty that's a pretty scary design for a mimic. It's definitely a lot more biological. It's a, lot, a little bit more of a Zerg mimic than you usually see. So I guess really what we want to do, though, with the way the Grand Peak functions, is we want to create a mountain that is... We want to create a Grand Pe Peak that is, like, as surrounded by other mountains as possible. Uh, I'm trying to think. Does it matter where we put this? Probably not really. I want to put the blood grove down. Ah, uh, but I actually, sorry, I, the blood grove has to go here. I'm gonna not even drop it then, for it to affect the boss fight. I was, I was just thinking, you know, making sure that it affects the skeletons or the um, the ghosts is a good idea. But yeah, we also want it on the boss fight. It's fine. I'm sure we'll get another grove. Let's go ahead and do this thing. That makes one of the tiles not spawn garbage. Oh yeah, another reason to put the grove down right next to the campfire is that the grove itself will prevent the spawn of one of the boss tiles. And now, like, even if we don't necessarily understand the way the Chrono Crystals work, we do at least at this point understand that it's important that we get them out of our hand, because we really don't want to hold on to too many cards. Um, do we want to... Equipment change? That seems pretty solid. 10% evasion versus the regen is probably a real upgrade. And then this thing seems wonderful. Yeah, I should probably make sure that we are actually not dying early on, right? I think we we'll probably hold the road lanterns until... Ooh. I was going to say, until we get the first goblin camp. We'll have some idea where we might want to put them. Uh, so, obviously, if we put the treasury down in a place like this, it does to some degree limit the sprawl of our mountain. I'm trying to think. I'm probably going to want to put down stuff near the road here. Yeah, I guess I'll do it like that. We'll get the treasury done. I'm not too worried about it. All right, 
right, show me good stuff from the chests. Just uh, <laughs> spend a leisurely afternoon hacking away at these things with my sword instead of opening them. You can see the latch. Just, just pop it open, my dude. 14 to 20 damage to all. Honestly, this Dirk might be better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna equip that. And then some evasion over the defense again. Tough to know. Yeah, I mean, we may as well put down a, a road lantern here because this this position does prevent a lich palace from spawning. So that's good. Embarrassingly weak performance against this random rat. It does feel a little bit like we've just gotten fewer cards per loop on this run than we have in the past. I should probably put a road lantern down over here somewhere. Ooh. Or maybe we should just keep fighting lots of enemies because I need more cards right now. <laughs> because of all that stuff I was just saying about my cards. We have a lot of evasion. I think we can probably afford to tune that down a little bit. So... We could double up work on this treasury. You know, I'm going to put this one here. I don't remember for sure if we can build in the row below where it was offering to let me put that treasury, so... Better save. Uh, and then it would be best to let these be more mountains. So I think I'm going to hold off. But we can we can put meadows around the outside. I mean, even so, though, you really do want to have it be rocks. So I guess we'll put the meadow near this thing. Uh, is there any reason not to do it here? No, let's let's do it there. That that blocks another lich palace. Which seems wise. Hooray, we leveled up. 1.5 damage for every potion used would be a lot more relevant if we had potions. 35% chance to perform a counterattack during evade. Ooh. I'm assuming what it means there is, like, these are the findings, right? So it lets you, like, store stuff in case you lose. But, like, what about winning? What about if we just won instead? This perk point really it really lets us lean into the uh, the whole thing here. Uh, I mean, we do need to put rocks down. Yep, and then road lantern. That seems like a fine place for one. Yes, yeah, so this perk point really leans us into evasion, which I was kind of leaning toward anyway, so... Gotta make sure we can actually get the DPS as well. Evasion and vampirism increase... They each mutually increase the effectiveness of the other. So hopefully we can... We can end up in a good place there. So, shields. How about some shields? Lose 10% evasion is rough given our counter strategy now. And again, without having a good sense of the value of defense, it's hard to say what the right move is there. Oh hey, a village. Let's definitely place the village. So heals you upon entering and gives you a quest. I guess let's just put it down early here. Put it down right in front of us. And then... Yeah, that seems fine. I really wish we could draw another grove. Okay, so quest is just a marker. Alright, that's fair enough. I'm sure that the thing is triggering the perk we took, it just doesn't it doesn't have an animation or an explicit text notification that this is a counter you got because of your evade. But I sorta of wish it did. 
Uh, I like skeletons. Somewhat. I kind of like skeletons. If I'm not absolutely just tearing through every single slime, is that maybe a sign that things are going poorly? I guess we just have a lot of loops up already, though. Uh, lose some counter, gain defense and attack speed. Yeah, okay. And then we should probably start making sure we're filling these out, right? Alright, we have a quest to slay this slime. What do we get when we complete a quest? I hope it's a whole bunch of XP. Or, or ten great items. Ten level twelve items. What do you mean? What do you mean a level three ring? Well, it is probably better than the ring we're currently wearing. The ring we're currently wearing is not very exciting. This is also... Yeah, I, whatever, I'll leave it. Uh, let's definitely build these out, though. So... What do we want to do with this? I guess... Yeah, I guess just keep building the rock complex. And put up a spider thing. So this is where we want the grove to go, and that's the only space off the road that is left. As far as blocking off the, um... Yeah, I guess I'll just put it here. It's fine. It's the only space around the road that is left as far as blocking lich palaces. So we're going to get a bunch of lich palaces on the road this time, but we probably will actually need... Um, Oblivion to get rid of them unless we suddenly draw a lot of groves. Hooray! A grove. It doesn't really matter whether we put it before or after, I don't think. A blood grove here. That's good news. Yeah, we're in loop five, and we are only, like, not even quite halfway through the bar through the, uh, the summon the lich bar. He shows up if he senses people remembering too much stuff. I need more healing. Okay, another Oblivion's pretty great. Yeah, we just... We just need, like, a ton of evasion. Like a really, a really comically huge amount of evasion. Uh, I guess I'm gonna put a cemetery on the road here, next to the blood grove. That'll that'll block off another lich palace. And another grove. Do we want to just drop it here? I think so. And then if we pull a blood grove, it goes there. That seems great. All right. So the lich is gonna have a little bit tougher of a time. This is going very poorly. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to get totally embarrassed by the normal enemies before I even have a chance to get to a lich. I do not know what all of the bars underneath the character do. There are... there are. So there's a blue bar that is our attack timer. A gray bar that is I don't know what. And then there was red one time. I assume it was either the blue or the gray bar turned red. This blood clot is actually going to kill me. Oh my god. I need weapons. Okay, hold on. We got some we got some gear here. Uh, so first of all, to help. Let's put down some stuff. Okay. Damage to all and attack speed. But a real lack of vampirism, sadly. That is a 27 to 41 damage axe. That definitely helps. We lose 7% evasion, but like, counter and everything, they're going to be so much more effective with a weapon that does that much damage. Yeah, these level 7 enemies are not a joke, though. Are we about to get a... Yeah, okay, so we're about to get a heal. Daytime's going to flip. It's going to help. Oh, wow, they gave us a very high-level ring. 
So we lose some counter, but we gain some defense and some regen and a whole lot of vampirism. Yeah, the big the big attack boost is very significant. This would drop us to only 11% evasion. It's a lot of extra HP, but honestly, I don't know if it's even if it even makes us tougher. All of the evasion loss is very serious. So we are one tile off of being able to finish this. Maybe we should finish a treasury now. I'm definitely going to do this. And then we could just rock this treasury. Because I could really use better armor. I'm going to do it. Okay, well, that didn't exactly work the way I wanted it to. So, he's level... Yeah, even a level 6 weapon is such a downgrade in raw damage. 2.4 is a lot of regen per second, but I don't, I don't want to lose all that damage. And then, I kind of put myself in a position here where like, the Chrono Crystals are a little awkward. I guess I'll put one down over here. We can meadow off that. Yeah, I may, I may just die to goblins. Yeah, we, uh, we did not get enough cards out quickly enough. Like, we just, the loop level got too high. Well, I mean, it's still, it's still resources. So, do we have enough to build anything? We could almost build an herbalist hut. We're so close. So what does the cemetery do? Passing through the cemetery on expeditions grants you a memory fragment, can resurrect the hero once upgraded. That seems very powerful. Supply depot... Begin to find useful artifacts for your people, unlocks the ability to craft, and a new card. The, the intel center seems like it could be a useful thing, maybe? Okay, well... This episode did not go quite as cleanly as I hoped. I really, I thought there was a real good chance we were going to get a lich kill, and we almost did. It got real, it got real close there. All right, I think that is probably where we're going to call it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time tomorrow, we're totally going to do it, maybe, maybe, and we'll see you then. <laughs>